Born in the Bronx, raised in Yonkers, and now commemorated in Harlem. Miss Mary J. The queen of hip-hop soul Mary J. Blige got some real love as she was inducted into the Apollo Theater's Walk of Fame Friday, further cementing her status as a global superstar who happens to be New York's very own. None of this is possible without the fans, so thank you to all the fans. It was 29 years ago when her debut album, What's the 411, dropped, setting the tone for an illustrious career spanning three decades, not to mention nine Grammy Awards and two Oscar nominations. Her contribution to the culture, by far her biggest feat. She is one of the defining voices of our generation. Miss Blige helped to redefine what R&B and hip hop could be. The singer and actress reminisced on her first time hitting the Apollo stage. My very first time performing here at the Apollo, I was not on stage as myself. I was on stage singing background for Jeff Red. And then from there on, it was all history, Mary J. Blige history. Mary, now part of an iconic group of inductees who have left their mark on the Apollo Theater stage, including Aretha Franklin, Patti LaBelle, and Little Richard. Everything we've been through with COVID and everything, this is the best thing ever. Just looking at her discography and then speaking her life, seeing how she's risen, gives me an opportunity to know that I can do the same thing. Now, up next for Mary J. Blige is a documentary on her life, which is streaming next month. It's appropriately titled My Life. And if you're a fan, you know that's the title of her second album. And I'm going to say it, her best album. But now we are live in Harlem tonight. I'm Andrew Ramos, Fix 11 News. Yeah,